sepsis is a medical emergency. Sepsis happens when the body's response to an infection spirals out of control. And while it's normal for the body to fight an infection, sepsis can lead to catastrophic overreaction, causing multi-organ failure, shock and even death if the sepsis is not recognised and treated urgently. Sepsis kills more people than prostate cancer, HIV and breast cancer combined. It has been estimated that there are more than 15,000 cases of severe sepsis or septic shock per year in Australia. That could be a loved one, a husband, wife, mother, grandparent, daughter, son or friend. Sepsis does not discriminate. Early recognition and timely management of patients with sepsis has been a significant problem for healthcare organisations around the world. The Clinical Excellence Commission found significant delays in the recognition and management of sepsis in New South Wales hospitals. The Sepsis Kills program was introduced to ensure best practice in sepsis care. The Sepsis Kills program is now being used in wards and emergency departments throughout New South Wales. The Sepsis Kills solution is simple. We need to recognise the risk factors, signs and symptoms of sepsis and inform a senior clinician. Resuscitate with rapid antibiotics and IV fluids within one hour. Refer to specialist care for targeted sepsis management with retrieval if needed. Regularly assess your patients to identify any early or later signs of deterioration and escalate their care according to your local clinical emergency response system. Consider if your patient's deterioration could be due to sepsis or another common cause. Think about sepsis. Challenge the current diagnosis. Could your patient have sepsis? The sepsis pathway is designed for early recognition and prompt treatment. The following six actions must be completed within 60 minutes. Give oxygen. Take blood cultures. Take a lactate. Administer IV antibiotics. Administer IV fluids. Monitor urine output and observations to assess if the patient is responding to treatment. Antibiotics. Prescribe it, get it, give it now. We need to think about sepsis early when we recognise the first signs and symptoms of our deteriorating patient. Ensure senior medical advice is sought for ongoing management. Transfer to a higher level of care, such as intensive care, may be required. Too often I see firsthand the results when sepsis is not recognised early enough. It is heartbreaking telling families that there's nothing you can do. Are you worried about your patient? Are they getting worse? Always have in the back of your mind, could this be sepsis? The doctors and nurses recognised the signs early and I survived sepsis. If you have severe sepsis or septic shock, you are five times more likely to die than if you have had a myocardial infarction or stroke. We need to change our way of thinking. Manage your patients with sepsis with the same level of urgency as those with trauma, acute coronary syndrome and stroke. Sepsis kills. Time is life. Time is life.